But in this section of flooring, we're addressing two issues. One being woodworm damage, uh, which is spread out throughout the building. Uh, the second is uh, wet rot damage. So the wet rot um, has been over time. So we've noted um, leaking rainwater goods. They've got some internal rainwater goods inside this building. Uh, which isn't kind of traditional so they've been trying to catch water basically and send it out of the building uh, unfortunately it's done some damage to this floor in the meantime um, we've noted this one uh, mainly you can see the the timbers become basically crumbling um, into sections and as you can see when you do a breakthrough of it like a cross section in the timber um, you've got what we call cuboidal cracking um, so with this one it's uh, it suffered wet rot decay basically um, which is noted by smaller cuboidal cracking. Um, a lot of the wood rotting funguses are identified by the sizes of cuboidal cracking. So a larger cuboidal cracking tends to be uh, noted in dry rot infestation. Um, with this one, there's been no note of uh, any fungal growths. Um, it's just the, uh, the, the wet rot signs that we've got now and the smaller cuboidal cracking. So we're happy that with replacements and a timber treatment throughout the building that we're gonna be on top of this issue.